<clears throat> okay guys it's uh been a while but i think i have life kind of situated now where i'll be able to come out and i'll do some some more fishing on a regular basis so i got something cool to show you guys it's kind of something i've been wanting for for a while now um it's kind of sitting on the top of my my car right now so i'm sure you can guess what it is so let me uh get it off and onto the water and now and i'll show you what it is see you in a couple minutes well here it is guys i'm sure most of you guessed what it was that i was talking about hobie mirage compass been wanting this kayak for a while so today we will be fishing but i'm mostly gonna try to just be getting used to how the boat handles where i can kind of set up my accessories and stuff so right now it is pretty much bare bones so kind of give me some some time today to kind of figure out where i'm gonna set everything up so uh let's get started let's cut them like this i'm gonna go ahead and put it in there we go we got that in got that going need to figure out where i want my feet to go okay i think i need a little bit closer let's try on three on two two might be the spot for me okay let's go back to three again i'm still trying to figure out where everything's gonna go place for the okay I think we need to go back to three let's figure this out three okay let's see if this is okay so so right now I'm just going to kind of get used to it kind of just turn see how this turns pretty nice wow okay so this is the first time I'm actually standing up in a kayak something I definitely couldn't do in my other kayak wow this is awesome I would definitely not fish it like this the whole time but it's nice to know I can if I need to oh he hit it he missed hope you guys were able to see that So, for those of you who have watched my videos before, you know when you do top water, you just gotta keep working it till you actually feel the fish, not just watch that explosion. So he he hit it pretty good, but he missed. So you definitely don't try to to set the hook until you actually feel the weight of the fish. Okay, so we'll definitely remember this spot and we'll hit it up on the way back. Wow, not sure you guys saw that, that wake right here. I, he's, I feel like he's barely hooked for some reason. Just maybe the way he hit it. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Got a decent one now. He barely, he came up and he hit it super soft. I'm not sure if you guys can see him yet. Okay, 
There we go. Guys, we got a good look at him. He hit it super soft. I didn't even feel him until I just kind of felt the weight. Nice little maybe pound and a half, pound and three quarters. It's nice and fat. So, there we go. First one on the Hobie Mirage Compass. Definitely loving this kayak. Oh, there we go. A salt water jerk bait. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, and there's a second one next to him, which is probably just slightly bigger. Okay, yep, he's got it way big in his mouth. I don't think he's going anywhere. Okay, yeah, he's starting to. He just realized he's super pissed. Definitely bigger than that first one. Okay, hold on. Let's try the pliers. There you go, that's like one. This one's definitely two pounds, two and a quarter maybe. Yeah, well, probably close out two and a half. I wish uh, the battery on my, my scale kind of died, but yeah, chunky fish. And there she goes. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and open her up and see how she does speed wise. Into the wind and into the current. I'm actually traveling pretty fast. We're gonna go through that pipe. And this chair is higher than what my old kayak used to be. So hopefully, I think I'll be okay. Yeah, I got plenty of space. Plenty. Oh wow, that was nice. Oh my god. Wow. Can't say for sure. That looked like a four or five pounders. He shot out from way back there. He totally smashed this. Holy crap, one of my hooks is gone. He snapped off the third hook here. This hook here has gone. He came up and he just hammered it. There's a Midas cichlid that came out. He kind of chased it. There's two here. Alright, uh, you guys can see all these Midas cichlids down here.
if anybody knows any like kayak tournaments that are down here in Miami slash South Florida, you know, freshwater, peacock, largemouth, you know, let me know, write in the comments below. I kind of want to start checking, you know, clubs out like that tournament, see if that's something I kind of want to get into because um, I think now that I have this kayak, it definitely allowed me to cover more water while still being able to fish as close to 99% of the time as possible and, and less steering, less putting the rod down, picking up the paddle. So this was a big, big, big change for me. Took a little bit of, of getting used to, but it's pretty easy, pretty quick. Um, I'm not just excited to to take it to other places. I kind of wanted to go down this route, but that opens up to another three or four canals and I kind of just kind of wanted to test it out today. Didn't really want to focus too much on heavily on fishing, but more on, on how the kayak actually performed and kind of getting used to it. And you saw a couple of times how to go under through the, through those pipes, kind of what connects one canal to the other, or just kind of where the road goes over it. And I had to bring down all the rods. I kind of had to hold them. I really didn't have a place to put those rods down. So, I mean, that's just, I guess, you know, some pros and cons to having this versus not having it. But I'll definitely take this kayak over my previous kayak. So, um, so yeah, so we're almost to where I launched. Again, if you know of any tournaments, any peacock bass or largemouth, kayak tournaments you know kind of comment below so i can start checking them out and see if that's something i kind of want to get get into all right guys i'll see you next time